guys, it's your old pal Brian Kish here coming to you via a cell phone, which I'll tell you is apropos because today's movie is made up entirely of found footage. It's not a Blair Witch thing, you know, uh, it's actually a movie called The Road Movie. It's all dash cam footage from uh, Russia, actually, and it's turned into a 70 minute feature featuring nothing but dash cam footage so that can include people having fist fights on the road, footage of people robbing other people, and of course, lots and lots of car wrecks. So NASCAR fans, listen up because you're going to like this one. This is, uh, you know, could have easily just been posted on YouTube, or I'm sure it already exists on YouTube, so this is possibly an effort to kind of capture the attention of the younger uh, audience and try to get some asses in seats, but can this movie sustain an audience's attention for 70 minutes? Well, I'll tell you that I could never really take my eyes off the screen during those 70 minutes, however, it also seemed to just kind of like drag along at a certain point and could have, could have kind of started or ended at any point. It's only a matter of time in this day and age before a movie like this was made. And, uh, you know, as long as there's some kind of, you know, artistic flair to go behind it, maybe a point, maybe some sort of commentary to go along with it, then you can really do something with the footage. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like this movie didn't really rise to the occasion and rise above the source material and kind of comment on any of the footage itself. You know, sometimes we get these uh, randomly interspliced, you know, like two to three minute quick cuts, super cuts, you know, set to music, and those are fun, but uh, there's not really a very precise attention to the pacing of the movie, you know, it goes from like a very exciting scene to something that's a little bit more humdrum, and some scenes last several minutes on the one shot, and some are just like 20-30 seconds, and like, that's fine, it could be all over the place, but uh, unfortunately doesn't really seem to amount to much in my opinion I got a lot of uh, vibes of the movie faces of death for example which was actually referenced in the trailer and the trailer made this movie look like it was gonna be about something like it was gonna be about macho bravado belligerence you know something like that or you know, police incompetence, because there's some scenes of, you know, the, the police failing to uh, handle a situation, you know, but it ultimately just kind of felt a little bit exploitative in the same way that Faces of Death is, though not nearly horribly as dated or pretentious in that it sticks in this weird, like, uh, scientist character to do the wraparounds. This one was so much more just... The footage is what it is, and you're, and it's certainly moral, morally ambiguous, ambiguous, and you're, you know, meant to draw your own conclusions from it. But I felt that was a bit troubling because, again, it didn't really amount to much for me. Woo! My roommates are having a good time up there. Oh boy. Anyway. There's definitely some funny moments. Uh, I really liked the scene where the, the guy is casually telling his friend about the other night of how drunk they got, and then he just, whoops, and just goes right over the railing and straight into a river, and they have almost no reaction at all. They sort of go, oh, now we're floating. Hmm. That was definitely a highlight. Uh, just any time where the police show up and do something stupid, I will say though, it's uh, it's a bit um, unnerving to know that we're never really seeing what's happening to any of these people because some of these car wrecks are pretty damn serious, you know. Uh, th there's some really uh, shocking, uh, disturbing footage in there. Nothing bloody, you know, anything like that, but uh, it's certainly very startling is a word I would use. And, uh, you know. We, we don't really see what happens to these people. I wasn't expecting to either, and maybe some people will appreciate the fact that it is so realistic and uh, it, it is so real to life because, you know, we don't often get answers and there's, you know, cases where somebody hits somebody else and then they just go and drive off. Uh, but there are some funny moments. I think another uh, very funny scene was um, 
there's these two girls in the front seat of a car spend several minutes just trying to set up the damn dash dash so you're basically just looking at there that's the way it's supposed to go like this for about three or four minutes so that was entertaining but you know that's just kind of just it's placed in between two other scenes of car wrecks you know it just uh, there wasn't very much attention to pacing there wasn't much attention to the order of the clips or presenting you know a building up tension over time or taking us to a, uh, a conclusion through all this footage it was kind of just like something funny something scary something startling something exciting could have just been in any order at all really so I could only kind of recommend this very mildly and in a sort of situation where you're just kind of throwing it on in the background not paying that much attention to it or kind of leaving the room and coming back in you don't even really need subtitles there's maybe a few a couple funny moments seeing so what you know you idiot you almost killed us that kind of stuff but you don't really need it and if I learned anything from this movie it's that I am glad that I don't fucking drive <laughs> and maybe uh, my grandmother and Frank Zappa were both onto something by just refusing to drive because uh Wow, it's fucking scary out there on the roads, folks. I mean, I'm taking my life in my own hands just by riding my bike, so careful out there, everyone. Um, but, you know, I'd rather uh, people be, you know, inside watching this movie than a bunch of delinquent teenagers throwing rocks at cars like years ago, you know? So, basically, I, I think that's all I can say about this movie. Um... Animal lovers, beware, because there's a scene where a cow gets hit and it doesn't die and it kind of just runs off, it's basically unaffected. We do see a duck die, which is, you know, it's pretty disturbing, but, uh, you know, it's like Cannibal Holocaust or one of those movies that kind of, uh, it's in there and it ends up kind of blurring the lines between what's real and what isn't, you know, so... We can definitely say that this one is all real footage, and you know that's not really up for debate. But uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of scary. Anyway, that's uh, the road movie. So yeah, um, if you want to kind of just turn your brain off and watch something that's pure, sort of left field entertainment, and uh, unfortunately does not really play up upon the parts being greater than the sum, you know what, you know the expression I'm getting at, it, it didn't really take and run with the concept of taking all this footage and then kind of heightening it to a new level or making some kind of comment for it, it's just the footage and anybody could have made this movie, but if you don't mind that and you know you want to watch something like this or something similar like Hardcore Henry, uh, then this would be the thing, so um Thanks for watching this little cell phone experiment here, and uh, if I could, I just want to um, scare you as well. <laughs> Stay sexy!